Hey guys, it's Omrecker, and I am playing a game called Charlie Martyr today. It's a title by a studio called Ska Studios, and it is out now on Xbox Live Arcade. It's the second game in the Xbox Live Arcade Summer of Arcade lineup. And if you missed the first one, uh, which is called Brothers, I will link back to that one in the description. But what this is, is a side-scroller beat-em-up. Uh, think like Double Dragon or Golden Axe or even Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. Uh, it, it's that style of game, except um, in, in this case you've got characters that are... Essentially, it, it, it reminds me quite a bit of like punk rock. Um, so you can see even with the art style here of the main menu, uh, these are the main characters uh, in the uh, top portion there. And uh, each one, believe it or not, has its own class type. So in a lot of ways, it's also got a little bit of River City Ransom uh, in it. But it is meant to be played uh, either with multiplayer in mind with your friends, or you can play solo. I'm going to go at this solo, but you can see here that there's uh, there's Charlie, Lester, Tommy, Rex, and Kelly. And uh, I have been playing as Lester. Uh, he's technically a mage, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue with him. I haven't really tried the multiplayer too much, and um, I'll be honest, initially, uh, when I when I started playing this, I wasn't too sure about it. It's been growing on me a, a bit uh, as I continue to spend time with it. I, I think for me, the um, the fact that uh, you know the, these characters are you know like punk rockers essentially, I'm not. I've never really been into that style of music. Uh, it's it's never really been my thing. Uh, but I do like side scroller beat 'em ups. So. Uh, when it comes to that, uh, this is actually a pretty decent side-scroller beat-em-up so far. The only thing is, is there, there's really not too many combos that I've found thus far, but then again, I haven't explored the entire upgrade uh, tree. Uh, but I'm going to see what I can show you guys here. Uh, you can pick people up if you if you uh, want. You can get special moves as you level up. There's kind of like an RPG system. You can get yourself new tattoos. Uh, if you remember with like, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Golden Axe, it, you know, when you'd collect enough of the potions, you could call in a, you know, very special attack. Uh, it's got something kind of similar to that, or similar to that, uh, but it charges up just from you kicking ass, essentially. And, um, also you see that I'm collecting money. Oh, I gotta get this dude off me. Uh, I'm collecting money, and I could actually use that money, uh, to go ahead and, uh, buy myself more upgrades. You also get uh, increased stats, it's really up to you on uh, how you want to spend your points. But, you can see though, this is a very violent game. This dude just literally lost his brain and I can pick it up. Uh, you will find a number of different weapons. There's everything from uh, just standard melee bats and, and swords to uh, chainsaws and uh, guns. I found pistols and shotguns. Um, I, I'm sure I haven't found everything just yet. There's... <laughs> There's these little ghost girls in this part. I, I actually got a little bit through this, and uh, these ghost girls, unfortunately... Oh my god, If you, it turns out if you damage them, you're screwed too. So I, I gotta try to get my way through here, otherwise they hang me for a split second. I can't seem to hurt them. Oh, god damn it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking die. I don't know what that dude's doing up there. Okay, I got through. Alright, so I'm now at half health. Oh, and I also forgot to point this out. You can, uh, you've got a cell phone, and you actually can track how many followers you have as you go through. So this is like, almost like Twitter, except it says Squid, Squidless, I guess? Um, but you gain more and more followers as you, uh, get through this. And what's funny is it kind of reminds me of, like, the rise to fame as a YouTuber. Uh, you know, you, you just get more and more attention as you go along. Um, you can also, uh, here's how you actually pick your extra skills. You can see I have one skill point. I could, uh, for example, increase my damage with Slasher 1 uh, with bladed weapons by 25%. I could get the ability to hold 60 inventory items uh, with backpack. A uh, counter I could start to use if, uh, if I hold left trigger, it says, just in time, then press X to unleash, or unleash uh, some anarchy. And then uh, Stygian Be Beast, um, which this one, I, I do wonder if I need an actual uh, co-op player with me to do this, or if it's... Actually, just the AI beast, and then a soul steal, so I could steal HP. Uh, you know, what? I'm gonna do soul steal, and then um, you can go and spend points on your skills and whatnot. So I've been putting a lot of points into strength, uh, anarch, anarchy, and uh, speed, but I think I'm gonna start doing some defense because it's always good to be able to survive your encounters. I'm gonna put the rest in strength. 
And uh, actually, there, there's clothing and whatnot that you unlock. That um, is, uh, it'll give you stats and whatnot. Oh, and you also have a camera. You could scan QR codes with this if you find them. And uh, the QR codes will give you uh, different uh, items in game. You also get text messages or emails. Soul steal technique time. You have to hold Y to absorb. I need to remember that. Um, all right, so we are going to scroll into this next screen here and probably get our asses kicked. Here's uh, essentially like a either a boss or a mini boss, this pumpkin head guy, and he ripped somebody's face off and threw it at me. So here he comes with his chainsaw. Ah, oh, this is not going to be good. Uh, can I pick up the face? No, I cannot pick up the face. Oh my god, uh, I want this chainsaw. Oh my god. Uh, okay, I'm about to die. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Can I run? Nope. Oh my god, this is this is ridiculous. Alright, so I just electrocuted him a little bit. Oh, is that part of the trick? Is getting them to kill each other? Hey, that's a, that's a little bad. Okay, yeah, kill, kill each other, please. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, unless, again, it is all about them killing each other. But, okay. Oh, my God. All right, so that does a burn over time, that move. Okay, there we go. We got, we got some health back. Uh, oh, I want that heart. Okay, so... Oh, god damn it. This dude is beating the shit out of me. Oh! There we go, there we go. No! Oh, no. Please tell me that killed him. Please tell me that killed him. Awesome. I got a long sleeve shirt, which uh, I'm, I'm sure I can... Oh, shit. Damn it. Uh, these guys... Okay, so I, I need to stop being paranoid. Now the boss is dead. I got this dude's uh, brain. Oh, I need to remember. I can gain health back. Oh, get off me. Please. I mean, you can see that uh, it, it is very responsive. Uh, for the most part. And... Uh, Oh, I tried to I try to absorb his life. It didn't really work. I thought it said I was supposed to hold Y. Alright, well, whatever. And you can uh, do a attack spam, you don't really don't have to worry about too many combos in this game. Oh my god. Hey, there's a there's another little bird. Alright, so I gotta figure out what all this stuff is for. Alright, so I've cleared all this or this uh, wave. Tell me I've got stuff to use, um... Wow, I have actually multiple birds and bats and whatnot. Let's see, I got Leatherface. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. Awesome, you can see it visually. Uh, okay, so here's the different shirts I have, and it says right now I've got this one equipped. It's only got Defense 1, so, um... Well, shit, I'm gonna do the long sleeve, of course. Uh, gray wraps or tatters, uh, of course I'm gonna do the gray wraps. Uh, these are ingredients. You can actually craft things. And, uh, let's go ahead and do this bat, I guess. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, did I just eat the bat? Also, you can see a mace down there. That's kind of cool. And it's telling me that I've got a new message. Alright, I'm gonna skip that. Alright, let's keep on moving, because I do want to show you guys as much gameplay as possible in this quick look. Uh, but like I said, I, you know, I, I was kind of, uh, I, I wasn't initially digging it too much, but it is, uh, actually turning out to be pretty damn fun. Okay, I just body slammed that witch. Alright, I didn't have gained more fans. You can see there that, uh, the 720, uh, indicated. Oh, God, these witches have guns. What the hell is up with that? There we go. Uh, there's another dude with a gun over here. And after you're done with the gun, of course, it's good to just throw it at him. Alright. 
Come on. Get over here, witch. Uh, I'm guessing that there's going to be more and more combos to, to learn later on, because otherwise the, the combat mechanics uh, can get a little bit stale. Okay, I found another long sleeve here. I'm pretty sure you can start selling extra stuff. And you can see there, like, the, the number that shows up is... Initially, I thought it meant, like, I had that many collectibles out of uh, however many were going to actually spawn in the map. Uh, but it turns out that that's not the case. That's actually how many items you can carry. Uh, okay, so I can't get over this wall here. Alright, so I guess I need to start jumping. Is that what this is all telling me? Yep. Alright. Now, art style-wise, um, you know, I do like the violence. I'm a fan of that. Um, it, it is a unique art style. Like, it kind of reminds me of, you know, like some of the sketches I used to see my friends do. Uh, back in high school on, like, the back of their... Tech, or not their textbooks, but their uh, their notebooks and whatnot. Uh oh, here's here's an actual true boss. Ah, uh, great. What the? F what is that about? Uh, no, don't don't electric don't 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 don't. Oh man. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Get off me! Okay, I gotta see. I gotta see if I I can't go into my inventory. All right, please give me some help. Yeah, there's no way I'm killing this lady. Oh my god, this is just this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, there's a heart. Uh. Okay. Got some uh, more fire down. Okay. Get off me! Oh. Yeah. Okay. So the game or the combat in this game is definitely intense. Uh, I. Oh, God damn it! I don't think I can go near her when she's like, or when she's like that. Oh. Okay. All right. Got some burn over time. I need hearts so bad. Oh my god. Please just kill some of these creatures, please! Get oh my god. Please just die. Give me hearts, give me hearts, give me hearts. All right, I got I got some hearts. Or there's there's another one there. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Is this one way to keep her off of me? Or did she glitch? Nope, she did not glitch. All right. I think I almost got her. Oh, I could have stolen her life right there. There we go. Okay. Another boss down. Uh, this was, uh, I think, the second big boss I fought. And you can see there I got a bunch of cash. I got way more followers. And, um... Pretty, uh, you know, pretty decent experience dealing with that boss. Alright, so at this point, uh, this is one other area where, where the game, uh... I, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit iffy on. It does not really... Oh, I don't want to exit there. But the game, like, leaves a lot of things uh, in terms of traveling from point to point. Uh, kind of for you to figure out. And uh, it, at times it is a little bit confusing. So, for example, this gate. I... For whatever reason, it, you know, th this gate is here. I don't know if this is going to lead me to... Oh, shit, there's more of these ghost girls. Uh, but for whatever reason, um... I, I, uh, I don't know, like, if, if this is actually part of a path I should be on right now, or if this is going to lead to a shop. It's really, like, up to you to explore the world. Let's see, is it worth blowing up or destroying these crates? I don't know. I would like to show you guys a shop, though, so you can see what it's like to, uh, or, you know, the stuff you can buy and whatnot. And much like a lot of the side-scroller beat-em-ups, it is sometimes a little bit difficult to figure out where your position is uh, relative to some of the artwork. Uh, okay, we got two 
mini bosses of sorts here to deal with. So I'm gonna try to line them up and cook them, hopefully. There we go. Oh my god. Alright, well, jump kicking isn't gonna help. Do I need a long weapon like this thing? Okay. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. I need to keep whacking them. All right, there we go. We got some. Uh, we got my my flame thing again. All right, nice. Oh, oh, nice! I get to bash his head in. <laughs> and eyeballs erupt. Hey, I got interrupted. Oh shit! I just picked up several dollars for that. Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh, okay. Alright, I'm the one doing the stomping that time. God damn it, these guys. It is a little bit hard at times to kind of figure out uh, where you are in the game world, because in, in a lot of ways your character looks like, a, you know, in a lot of ways like the characters that you're actually killing. Uh, color scheme wise. But like I said, the, the more I spend time with this game, the, the more I do like it. Alright, Yaker Yeast. Alright, there we go, another dude dead. Alright, so I'm gonna skip bashing all these barrels, and we're gonna keep exploring. See if there's anything else worthwhile uh, to the right here. Okay. Alright, so you will occasionally- Oh, shit. If I could- There we go. Come on, let me up, please. Shit, I need to go through these these little girls. Okay, good. Alright, um... So let's see, uh, yeah, occasionally the, the game will try to roadblock you with, uh, cars and whatnot, you need to use grenades to blow them up. And, uh, let's see what's a little bit further along. Now, I'm not sure if this is coming to any other platforms or if it is actually a, uh, Xbox Live exclusive. For the indefinite future. I haven't been able to find out too much about it. Uh, this studio uh, itself hasn't really worked on too many games. Oh! Uh, I see a QR code thing. So this is the first time I'm going to be using this uh, camera function here. So let's try this out. Got item. Okay. So what did I get? I got a shirt. Alright. Poison resist. Uh, nope. I don't care about that. Leech 5%. That's pretty sweet. Block to cooldown. Alright, which one am I using? I'm using this this long sleeve? Yeah. Just leech 2%, acid resist 2. Defense 16. Alright, so it does tell you if something's better, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this long sleeve where I look like Freddy Krueger, essentially. And, uh, yeah. Alright, let's keep on moving. Great, another chainsaw. Usually that's a bad sign. What the hell is that? I've never seen these things before. Are they healing themselves? It looks like these things, or these evil monks or whatever, or warlocks, or I don't even know what they are, but it looks like they heal themselves. Oh, I just threw my damn chainsaw. I would like to try out my Y attack. Oh, shit. Alright. Oh, okay, uh, the game's trying to tell me that I can heal myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Pretty much if you have a consumable and, uh, and it's, it's, you know... Sitting in your inventory doing nothing, uh, the game will sometimes remind you that you can actually use it to heal yourself. There we go. Got some pro juggling. Alright. So we're just gonna keep on moving. Or not. I guess I have to go up here. And more barrels. Um, it, the game will also sh uh, it'll do a little bit in terms of uh, trying to give you a backstory of the characters. Occasionally you'll have like flashbacks uh, to their lives before they encountered uh, all of these zombies and whatnot. I still don't know exactly why 
uh, the world got to be so screwed up here. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay. No! Uh, I'm... Oh my god, he, he's got so much range. Is that is that the trick? I need to I need to catch him from the back. Oh man, his his swirl attack is royally screwing me. Please tell me that he's almost dead. Okay, it looks like he is. All right. Awesome, awesome. I think I got him with this range. Yep. There we go. Just need to bash his head, and he's down. All right, maybe we can get some uh, sort of backstory here. Uh, I've never seen a chest before. This is entirely new. What do I do? Beat this thing? I, uh, how do I open? Wait, I, I keep seeing something. Oh, that's the Pilsner. Okay, so I just had to bash it open. Told me that it's cleared. Um, this is, I take it, like his mask or something? Leather face, alright. And some epic heart. Why is it telling me to leave when there's a heart hovering here? What am I supposed to do with a the heart? There we go. Okay. And it looks like I can't go any further. Alright, so we're gonna go check out this is plus five regen. I guess this is a ring I can wear, so I'm gonna go ahead and wear that. Um, those are my spells. Uh, here's the birds, and the I got a CD. I don't know if this permanently increases my health or what, but they're edible. Um, okay, leather face, scally cap. Uh, another leather face. We have two leather faces. I've got the cap on right now. I think. Oh wait, no. Oop. Yeah, we're gonna wear the cap. All right, so uh, I'm gonna play just a tiny bit longer. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to know more about the story. I, I think that's what's gonna keep me playing more than anything else is just kind of figure out what the hell's going on here. Why uh, did these punk rockers essentially find themselves in this position where uh, pretty much everyone in the world is dead? All right, we got a ninja of some sort oh that's interesting I've never seen that before either where he's essentially been uh, stunned all right hobo gloves rip CD and this is again where the, where the game kind of puts you in a position where uh, sometimes you're not always sure like where to go I in some ways I feel like I missed something and the game's not telling me like what direction I should be going at the moment feel like I'm backtracking for no good reason. Let me see if I can exit to the world map. Alright, so Derelict Crypt. Uh, looks like there's something to the right of uh, St. Sanders Cemetery. Uh, so yeah, I cleared out this boss, and I think I was headed towards here. And maybe we could find a route to the house by going to the right. I believe so. Oh, here we go. Alright, so this is where I can show you guys some of the, the shop. Uh, or the shop system here. So this is a bar. A lot of times you'll have to fight your way through a bar. Oh, I could ferment stuff here. Mash and ferment. Okay. So... Why don't we, why don't we do the reed barley? And... The white, white malt? That'll make a sweet mort or something? Uh, I am not really a master brewer. Bitter wart, icky liquid. All right, white malt, gold barley, rich wart, icky liquid. Why is it saying icky liquid? All right, let's now let's ferment stuff. Okay, we got sweet wart, bitter wart, rich wart, and yeast. I'm gonna do yeast plus sweet, and that makes the sunken dunkle. Uh, let's do bitter and yeast. 
unhinged pilsner. And uh, there's nothing really worth brewing anymore. All right, so I got some stuff out of brewing. Um, I got a sweet loaf of bread I guess I could hit people with. Uh, and that's all this is really good for right now. I, I don't see anything else I could purchase or anything. But maybe we'll find some more stuff uh, to mess around with. Sasquatch Museum. Oh, and also another thing I forgot to note is uh, I, I found a... Uh, or there was one sequence already where it's kind of like Rock Band. And uh, you, you actually get to listen to a song that I believe was made just uh, strictly for this game. And, uh, but you have to time the button presses to it, in which it uses all the colored buttons on the Xbox 360 controller. I thought it was kind of a, you know, interesting way uh, for the developers to mix things up. Also, you will see in the shop, there's so much stuff to interact with. I, I really wish you could have messed around with the arcade uh, machines that they've got, but... You can see here, there's all these different hats. Uh, some of them require certain stats, like for example, this one needs the Anar Chi. Uh, a percentage of 121% in order to use it. Also, it's very, very expensive, $111. Uh, that one's $175. Jeez, man, these are expensive-ass items. A uh, bunch of different shirts, there's claws, um... Let's see what this is. Banana bar increases a bunch of stats. I think these are just one-shot things, I, I, I could be wrong. Uh, but again, this is kind of where the game uh, leaves it to you to figure a lot of this stuff out. Can I interact with the Sasquatch? Nope, I can't. Alright. And it does seem like sometimes I get, I get stuck on some objects that really just don't exist. I can use this thing here to sell things, um, which it looks like it says Craig, Craigsta. Oh, here's another hat. That one's not too bad. Uh, and there's no way out to the east. Let's see if uh, there's anything else in this town area. If not, we'll probably start to wrap this up. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting game, no doubt. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Alright, well in that case, let's go ahead and wrap this one up, guys. Again, this has been Charlie Murder. It's a, a pretty decent side-scroller beat-em-up, overall, I would say. Um, it, it certainly has some issues. I did find myself getting a little bit confused with the exploration aspect uh, of the game. And I also felt like, it, you know, more things could have been explained uh, to me as I played through, such as the consumables and whatnot, or, uh, you know, I had the bat and, and birds in my inventory. Uh, if those are just one-time use items, then I, I felt like I kind of pissed my, my money away on them. Uh, when I actually purchased them in another shop earlier in the game, not in this video, but as I was trying to learn the game. Uh, but, uh, the story does seem interesting. I like how they do mix things up. Like I said, there was a little rock band type section, or even like Guitar Hero, I guess you could compare it to. Uh, so that's cool in itself, and I'm sure that people who love rock or even punk rock music will really appreciate the, the style of this game in comparison to a lot of the other uh, side-scroller beat-em-ups. So... Uh, overall though, I'd, I'd say that, uh, you know, right now Brothers is, is kind of holding the top spot for me for the summer of arcade game uh, lineup. Uh, I would say that that's my favorite at this point. We'll see what the next games, or, or the next two, I believe there's two more left. And we'll see what those bring in terms of uh, value. But so far, uh, both Brothers and Charlie Murder uh, are pretty decent games overall. And um, yeah, if you liked what you saw... Be sure to check it out. Um, and that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys all next time.